Imagine summer, warm sun, long days, fields bursting with life. Now imagine if it simply vanished, not just for a week or a month, but for an entire year. No sunshine, just frost, snow, and a sky choked with a perpetual twilight. This isn't a dystopian novel. This was 1816, known to history as the year without a summer. Across North America and Europe, the spring of 1816 brought not warmth, but endless cold rain. June saw widespread frost. July brought snowfalls from New England to Italy, and August offered no reprieve. Crops failed on an unprecedented scale. Farmers watched in horror as their livelihoods withered and died. Food prices skyrocketed, leading to widespread famine, riots, and desperate migrations. People ate birds, roots, even cats just to survive. What caused this global catastrophe? Half a world away, a year earlier, the mighty Mount Tambora in Indonesia had erupted. Not just any eruption, but the most powerful in recorded human history. It ejected colossal amounts of ash, dust, and sulfur dioxide high into the atmosphere. These aerosols then circled the globe, forming a vast stratospheric veil that acted like a giant sun blocker, reflecting sunlight back into space. The impact was profound and far-reaching. Mass migrations pushed people westward in America. Starvation prompted innovation, leading to the invention of the dandy horse, a precursor to the bicycle, born out of necessity when horses starved. Even literature was touched. Confined indoors by the gloomy weather in Switzerland, Mary Shelley famously conceived Frankenstein. The Year Without a Summer stands as a stark, bizarre reminder of nature's raw power, a single volcanic eruption capable of plunging an entire world into a chilling, unexpected darkness, forever changing the course of history. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.